So I wanted to do a brief demonstration today of a monitor, not of this monitor, but of this monitor here. So this is a CTX color monitor. And this was just in the junk pile at one of my jobs and I just could not let this go. It was intriguing enough that I decided to salvage it, at least for now. And I plugged it in and it worked, so uh, I've brought it home for now. So it's pretty basic CTX monitor. And I've only powered it up once so far. And it's got your standard buttons down here, power button, and uh, like many older monitors, the cables are all hardwired in. Or maybe they're not. Um, at least the VGA cable appears to be hardwired in. I think the power cable there comes out. But anyhow, here is the cable for that. And kind of interesting. I'll have more to say about this. But if you look at the cable carefully, you'll see that two of the pins are missing. So I guess pin number five and pin number nine are missing. And that may have to do with the, uh, the, the quality or the characteristics of the video image that we get when using this. So let's go ahead and power it up now. Okay, so here we are again. And if you go and turn on the power, so you can hear that it's doing something. And it does take a couple seconds to warm up, actually. So you can see that over time, uh, the picture quality gets better. And I think this is showing up in the video where you see a basically a big rectangle moving down the screen. To be perfectly honest, I don't see that physically here in real life. So that must be something that's easily recognizable through the camera, but not, not physically here at the console for some reason. I originally did think this was monochrome, just green and black, because when I plugged it in, that's the picture I was getting. But now it actually appears to be full color. So this is a full monitor. It's not, you know, just a terminal that does text. It's a graphical monitor. It's full color. And it's, I'd say this is about five to 10 pounds. It's not insane. It's not lightweight either. But um, yeah, that's, really all I have to say about this, but we can go ahead and, um, let's see here, if I can find where on earth my mouse went. Here it is. Okay, so let's go ahead. So, looks pretty decent with this. I mean, you get a nice terminal effect with having something like this on a CRT, I think. There's just something that with a flat panel with an LCD you don't quite get with with this. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the FreakNet VBS. And Let's see, if we want to go really retro here, I think the thing that we would have to do is go to games and open up the Whopper down here. And now you can feel it a little bit more. It looks like a nice, actually, let's see if we can maybe go full screen here. My mouse has disappeared again. Um, let's see. Well, never mind that for now. But, um, yeah, so if we go to the 
Is it the dialer program? It's been so long since I've made this that I kind of forget how this thing works. But yeah, so let's view some results and uh, yeah, so this, this looks pretty nice. I mean, if it's a dark room, you've got this nice terminal here and I think this shows off some of its finer qualities, but yeah, this, something like this looks pretty nice. Oh, pencil is the login to the computer at the school district, not the, not the Whopper computer. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, so I'm not following the, the script exactly, but, uh, anyways, uh, you get the idea here. So, that looks pretty neat. It's all fun and good. I kind of just wanted to, to lug this here and uh, take it for a test drive, and I think this has exceeded my expectations. So... For the time being, I'll hold on to this and, uh, at least for now, use it as a, a second monitor for for terminal sessions. Uh, it's, it's good for that type of thing. I don't want to stress it too much. It's probably not great for graphical applications, even though it does work with graphical applications. This is really, really best suited, I think, for terminal usage. So I'll probably just keep a terminal window up here and use it that way. Anyways, that's it for this video. I haven't done a monitor demo before because usually that's not very exciting. But I think that's everything we wanted to show for this. And I don't know what model number this is exactly. If you know, uh, feel free to let me know. It's, I try to search up, you know, CTX, vintage CRT color monitor, and they have several different so um, it might be a little tricky, but it works, and I didn't want to see it get scrapped. So here it is in its next life, at least for now.